you've either heard of RSV before or you've never heard of it before. The CDC says that every kid by the age of two has had RSV in some form. The problem with RSV is that it's coming earlier this year and it's coming while we're still dealing with COVID and as flu cases are on the rise, so it's all turning into this triple-demic that everyone talks about, um, hitting hospitals hard, especially children's hospitals right now with RSV. COVID, RSV, the flu, they're all respiratory viruses. So they're all gonna have some form of a cough or a running nose or a sore throat or a fever. Uh, there are some slight differences, but doctors say it's really hard to tell any of the three apart. So flu is notorious for a quick onset of symptoms. People are going to say, feels like I just been hit by a truck. For COVID, it's more of that constellation of symptoms that we've been talking about really nonstop for the past three years. Um, RSV is just cold-like symptoms. Um, what you really want to look for in somebody who might have RSV is if they start having difficulty breathing, uh, that's when you wanna go to a hospital or call your pediatrician or your doctor. The good news for COVID and the flu is that we have shots for both of those vaccines that people can get ahead of time to preempt any serious symptoms or, or serious cases. So every health official I talk to stress, you just wanna get your flu and COVID shots. There are two different types of RSV vaccines in development, one for older adults and one actually for expecting mothers uh, to then protect their infant kids because any newborn under the age of six months is the most at risk of having a severe case of RSV. What health officials really want people to know is you could need to get your flu shot uh, because they think this is going to be a winter with a lot of respiratory viruses floating around. We're talking about three right now, but there are, you know, doctors told me there's a half dozen or more floating around in different parts of the country. And we have all been in different forms, isolated and having strict public health measures. And anyone might not have the built up immunity to be able to respond to these respiratory viruses in the ways we have in the past.